Hey everyone, my name is Ali and I'm from Drexel University's PA Snap Bed Nutrition Education Program, Eat Right Philly. Today, I wanted to share with you some of the things I like to buy when I go to the grocery store. And I also like to share some quick tips and tricks that I like to use to help me shop on a budget and also help me prep for my meals throughout the week. All right, so one of my first tips is to write down a menu for the week. Like what you're gonna have for dinner Monday through Friday. Once you write down that menu, write a list of the ingredients that you need. And list for me is so important because I don't know about you, but if I go to the grocery store without a list, I am buying any and everything. I'm down aisles I don't need to be down. And then when I get to the checkout line, I'm like, why is my grocery bill so expensive? And I come home and I'm unbagging things and I don't even need them. So a list saves me time, it saves me money, and I don't buy things that I don't need. All right, now for the unboxing or unbagging, whatever they're calling it these days, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I buy when I go grocery shopping. And I'll also like let you know what I use some of them for or how I prep them to make it easier for me throughout the week. Here's some of the fruit I bought this time around. Um, bananas are a must in our house. We love to have bananas around for smoothies, uh, peanut butter banana toast, peanut butter banana rice cake. So we always have these. They're inexpensive and they're usually easy to find. Um, avocados are another thing we always have. Um, I love avocado toast with an egg for breakfast or you can also throw an avocado in a smoothie and you can also put them in salads, add them for your healthy fats. Lemons and limes are another staple here for fruit in our house because I like to put this in my water or even use them for sal homemade salad dressings. Also to zest, to add to certain marinades. Um, pineapple, watermelon, and cantaloupe. This is the time of the year to grab these things, okay? We're actually gonna have a future post about how you can grill some of these fruits. Pineapples are so good on a kebab. And then last but not least back here, we have strawberries. Same thing with the strawberries as the bananas. You can put them in smoothies, you can put them on toast, or you can just have them to pop in your mouth as a snack. Here are some of the things that I buy that fit into the grains group. Um, I like to buy this uh, thick sliced multi-grain bread. I like to use this for sandwiches or to make a peanut butter banana toast in the morning or my avocado toast in the morning. And then I prefer corn tortillas um, for when I do taco night. I buy these. I also use them in the morning for breakfast tacos, scramble some eggs with peppers, and I use these to like put them on. Dairy items I buy. Um, we definitely love yogurt as a snack. We mix some granola in here and have it for a snack or even add it into our oatmeal in the morning. Um, my stomach is usually not good with regular milk, so we do almond milk and I put this in my smoothies or if I'm gonna have cereal or if I want oatmeal, I'll mix this in with my oatmeal. And these are just typically the two things that we have um, dairy-wise. And last but not least, the proteins from today's grocery shop. I have eggs and chicken. Uh, we probably have eggs almost every day for breakfast and we eat a lot of chicken uh, for lunch and dinner. Typically with the eggs, um, we like to boil some and have some already done in the refrigerator. So this way, if we're in a hurry, don't have time to make breakfast, we will grab um, the hard boiled eggs or we do scrambled eggs. We do eggs over medium, eggs over easy, put it on avocado toast. And then with the chicken, what I typically like to do when I get home is I like to throw a good portion of it in the crock pot with some seasonings, shred it up, put it in the refrigerator to have it to use throughout the week for lunches, um, a wrap, or like earlier I showed you that bag salad, you could throw this over and voila, you have a lunch. All right, now we'll move on to our vegetables. I like to vary my vegetables throughout the week just so I'm making sure I'm getting all the vitamins and nutrients from all the different types of vegetables. This week I got asparagus. I love to roast asparagus in the oven with just some olive oil. I also got cucumbers. This is another good one that you can add into the water with your lemon. Um, I also like to slice it up to dip in hummus or put it in salads. Um, zucchini, I love to put zucchini on the grill. It's so good on the grill. And then I have these bag salads, which are really convenient for a grab and go lunch when you don't have time. Corn on the cob, I get so excited when corn on the cob is back in season. I throw it on the grill in the husk just like this. Sweet potato, roast it, um, make sweet potato fries, make mashed sweet potatoes, whatever you like, sweet potato chili. Um, baby carrots, carrots are one of my favorite um, vegetables. I love to use them in um, soups, salads, or even to dip them and hummus or a light branch garlic and onion i always have it on hand because you always need garlic and onion 
great tomatoes, another good thing to put in salads, another good thing you can add to a kebab if you like, and also a good snack just to grab and go. You can just pop them in your mouth, there's no need to cut them. And then peppers. One of the things that I suggest to do with peppers is when you get home to just slice them up in these slices because it's much easier to use throughout the week to add in things like eggs or salads or soups or chilies. So I like to do this ahead of time and just put it in like a plastic container like this and then pop it right in the fridge. And those are my vegetables.